What's going on, everybody? It's Waterweeb. And today, 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 we got a little something we mentioned a couple other, a uh, couple series that, uh, episodes, series? I guess, whatever. That we haven't, that we were, uh, do Last this. Saturday Spotlight and yes. the last spot live react. If you guys haven't um, watched it, shameless plug. Shameless plug, and of course, with that shameless plug comes a nice little card by a nester. So, check it out. But we're going to be discussing the first three episodes because we did start with episode four. So, just to give you guys a quick rundown how we felt about the anime, how we felt strong enough to remove Shokugeki, a big contender for this season, for this more, more or less not known anime. So if you guys are, you know, if you guys want to uh, want to hear our opinions, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to leave your opinions of Inuyashiki in the comment section below. And, and if you haven't so watched it, comment down below why you haven't watched it. Yep, and hopefully we can get you to start watching it. It's on Anime Strike, I believe. Uh, Amazon's thing. Amazon Prime, whatever it is. Go! Yes. First episode. Uh, first episode. So the first episode is like, you know, it's, we both started we're like, huh. What the heck is going on? You have this old man character as the main character, you know, you know Inuyashiki san, I guess. And he kind of, you know, I kind of like, okay, you know, this is old man as the main character. I didn't really know how to feel about it. I guess I've just been used to seeing all these, like, 12-year-old, 18-year-old, 15-year-old <laughs> characters as main characters. And seeing an old man kind of, like, do me back a little bit, but in a good way. You know, I kind of felt that, you know, they're doing something different. They're showing this man who honestly his life was pretty bad um you know, he, he tried to do the best for his family and everything but he just he just kept getting dealt a bad hand after bad hand and you really end up feeling bad for him throughout the entirety of the first episode um but well, what about you Nesta? what'd you think i also felt incredibly bad for him because you know his family doesn't appreciate him he felt so he was he built a house from nothing for his mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The first thing they say, oh, it's tiny. Oh, it doesn't mm -hmm. look nice. And when he brings in a, he decides to find a dog and saves it, he gets yelled at. And so he goes to the hill and starts crying to the dog because that's the only person slash creature that accepted him. Yeah. And yeah, it didn't even was... talk back. Yeah, that was, oh, yeah, when you see him like actually like an, a grown man. First of all, we, he gets cancer in this episode. They diagnose him with terminally like terminal cancer. He's supposed to die in like a couple months. This man's life is not fair. He's a he's a genuinely good person, dealt a terrible hand. It's I know like we've probably seen it before. We've definitely seen it before, but it's different when you see this man went through his whole life like this. He's what fifty six and he looks like he's seventy. Yeah. Like, you know, it's that much stress that it. It's real in that sense. And then you get, you know, that nice boom explosion on the hill where him and some rando uh, guy that we meet in, like, the second episode, quote-unquote, die and are recreated into these robots? Yeah, robots? They're, no. they're death machines, basically. That's yeah, what I said. And I'm just like, what the, what's the point of this anime? Where's it going to go? What's it going to do? Like, I just elicited so much of like, what is going on? What's the point of this anime? What's going to happen? Why does he have these powers? What's he going to use them for? There's a lot of questions that pop up, and that really kept me going. Uh, that first episode is the reason why I was like, whoa, you know, I don't know what's going to go on, so let me let me see what happens. Yeah, I was I was told to watch the entire three episodes, so the first episode I was I was just I felt attacked. I hate seeing, like, it's the cringiest thing to watch, you know, stupid kids do things that really aren't normal. Like, a throw fireworks, shoot fireworks at homeless people. Mm -hmm, I hate mm -hmm. things like that. So that's what really, I don't like watching that kind of stuff. I thought that would be sort of how the entire anime was going to be going. Like, really shitty people doing really shitty things to people who don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. and I thought that's what was gonna happen, but I was, I was sort kinda, of kinda, kinda. Oh, well, I mean, I guess on that we can move over to how we felt about episode two. Yeah, episode two, what... episode two was wild. It's pretty wild. It focuses on more so on the other guy though. The, so there were two people 
who got attacked by that explosion and re quote unquote rebuilt. I think Inuyashiki and the other guy's name I believe was Hiro. Uh, you know, random teenager, I think he goes to high school or whatever. But he kind of is super detached from everything, so you're kind of like, All right, this is more of a standard character I'd see in an anime today. Uh, uh, and I'm like, okay, so you know, I can relate with that. But he, you know, seeing the things he does, I was like, whoa, there's, that's not right. He really like just doesn't care about human life at all. He has no feelings for that. Other than the only person he actually maybe even likes is his friend, quote unquote friend. He's trying to get back to go to school. And he's like, hey, if you come back to school, I'll kill all your bullies. And they're just like, um... I'll protect you. That, 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 yeah, but that's not okay. I'll protect <laughs> and attack. Oh my god. <laughs> but, like, we know he's a... He's a flawed... You know, he's a flawed human. Like, you're not supposed to sympathize with him, pretty much. Because there's nothing to sympathize with. He just does not... I don't know if he had, like, a hard life or anything, but... Yeah, I don't know. Did he have a heart? I don't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, there was no flashback of him. In yeah. the opening, it sort of showed a little bit, but throughout the entire three episodes, it didn't show anything about his past minus his co his friend. Yeah, other than his friend, that's it. And, like, you even saw back in the day when his friend got bullied, he was still the same way. You know, he was still, like, did not care about who he hurt, what happened to people around him. He, like, brought that big guy to his knees about to break his freaking wrist mm -hmm. um so like so you you get introduced episode one you get introduced to inuyashiki great guy good character dealt a bad hand life this then this kid is kind of like an immature kind of kid in a sense does not really care about anything around him um goes out of his way to kill people like talk about that and let's talk about how talk about that killing time he had <laughs> Okay, so I think that he's actually very, I, the word is very unmature. He's still a kid at heart, because if you guys remember, if you guys had watched the second episode when he was first showing his, the first house he was going to kill. The one, piece, the one Piece thing? Yeah, the One Piece house. Shout out to that. I didn't want that girl to die, by the way. Because yeah. she, she picked Zoro as her favorite There's... character. I was like, no! <laughs> she died! But he picked the house and literally he spun around and was like, any, 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 and I was like, you're a child. No child should have this power. And that's got me thinking. I think this guy is, this is what a three year old probably would do if they had such a power. You know? Mm -hmm. They yeah, don't exactly. really see the good and the bad. They're sort of disjointed and they don't feel anything towards those that directly affect them, which sort of makes sense. At a certain degree, because, you know, when you look at the news, you see the bad things, you don't really feel, you sort of feel shocked, but at the same time, you don't really start shedding tears like crazy yeah. comparatively to Inuyashiki. So you got very, two very polar opposite characters. Mm -hmm. One uh, that... Unfeeling. One very unfeeling towards those he doesn't directly care about, mm -hmm. and one that cares about everyone whether it be people he knows or doesn't know yeah, as long as they are... don't do wrong yeah he, he's he cannot accept wrongdoing that's what it is because he's been wrong so much in his life you know inuyashiki will not accept other people being wrong he doesn't want people to go through kind of like what he went through i guess um which you know this is a very respectable trait to have in a character and you know, a lot of times people get power gets to gets to their head and hero yeah, the three-year-old mentality, like Anester said, but that, but he's not a three-year-old. That just means he's a psychopath. He's he's a psychopath. That's all it is, or a sociopath. Sociopath, yeah, sociopath. I think. Dang, the psychology words coming out. Yeah, he just he doesn't care. You know, it's just a complete disinterest in everything. The fact the fact that he can spin around, choose a house, and kill people shows that he's just wrong. <laughs> he's just wrong. Um, only a few things interest him, one of them being manga, <laughs> specifically One Piece, and the, in his personality, like I said, it will switch like that when he hears something he likes. So yes, he's a three-year-old, but a three-year-old in like a 15, whatever, 16-year-old person's body is a sociopath or a psychopath. I don't really know. Um, I'm sure somebody can correct me. 
So I don't. I'm meeting him. You know, this episode is a kind of like setup, I guess, right? It just sets up this guy is wrong. Like Hiro is wrong. He's on the wrong side of everything, and Inuyashiki is like the good. But I could see that start to twist as time goes on. But I don't know. We don't know. We're only like what four episodes in, so. <laughs> yeah, so we'll. I feel like we'll learn a little more about Hiro, and the last episode. Um, trying to remember exactly what happened. I remember the friendship ended. Yeah, yeah. It starts episode. off with uh, you know actually getting up and Hiro realizing that he didn't die. Yeah, uh, it's like Bakamano. Yeah, he's like, "Well, you should be dead. Why aren't you dead?" And like he kind of panics because. Once again, you know, Nestor's thing, three-year-old mentality. He's like, oh, it didn't go as he planned. And he just runs away. No. I do like the part where, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Inuyashiki's trying to go, he can hear all those voices, right? And he tries to, like, go save that person and starts singing Astro Boy <laughs> <laughs> to, like, get the jets out and go into the, I think it was, like, a fire or something. I don't really remember mm-hmm. the top of my head. It was a fire. Um, okay. Um, and... When you see him save those people from the fire, it's like, you see how happy he is that he was able to save everybody. Yeah, you know, he's like, yeah, I'm a hero, I did it, I was able to help everyone. He's genuinely happy he was able to help these people. Now, please um, don't sh- share that I did that, please. Arigato. Arigato. Um, and, I mean, that's really all it is for Inuyashiki. Yashiki. They show that, really, and then they go back to, what's the hero? And we get some more back and forth between him and his friend, and you realize even his friend is thinking that this man is crazy. Because <laughs> he sniped the bullies from the roof. Yeah, dude, that was freaking nuts. <laughs> He's like, you see those guys on the bridge? He's like, where? Bang, bang, bang. And then he realizes that and all the girls are flailing like crazy. Yep, yep. <laughs> And like, he even asked him, "Don't you, you know, don't you think this is wrong?" He's like, "What's wrong? You know, there's no bullets. They'll never be able to trace it back to me. I don't see the problem. This is a guy who was just trying to find a, you know, a way to kill people without getting in trouble, and he pretty much did." I think. He, I think he remember. I remember him saying something about how he wants to feel, have feeling in his life, and he's trying yeah, to get that. Yeah, and every time he kills people, he's like, he said he feels alive or whatever. Yeah. So like he's literally messed up. He's just he's just straight up messed up. Like uh, there's nothing else you can really say about Hero. He's uh, but he we what we can say is that he is a lot more experienced with his powers than Inuyashiki. I mean, could, yeah. He, I mean, he can hack ATMs. He can. Uh, <laughs> I wish can, I could do that with an ATM. Oh, swoop my finger. Guess yeah. what? I have a whole bunch of money now. Yeah, yeah. He's just really childish. He's like, look, and I don't, I don't have to worry about money. I don't have to worry about food. I don't have to worry about anything. And it's just like, yeah, you don't. But there's still a society. He's like, I don't care. I, I can live in this society and do what I want because I have these powers now. So he's a. Very, we've, been, we've been pushing this point, but Hero is a very. He's like he has his own like microcosm in a sense. He, it's everything. As long as he it checks out for him, he's fine with it. The only time you see him kind of mad is when they actually terminate the friendship. Him and on I don't think his name is Ando. Ando, like he, he is actually kind of kind of pissed. He's kind of sad. He's kind of disappointed. And you you see that he has some emotion, but not really anything. It didn't. That, he didn't change his face throughout that interaction. So. Uh, he came, became more hard, hard in his face. Like, oh, okay. He, be, he became less, like, more or less feeling. He, like, I think that was the last thing that kind of kept him, kind of grounded to society. And now that he doesn't have that. That he doesn't care. He's completely like gone. I don't care anymore. Mm-hmm. So just so, make sure to come back to school, Sayonara. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And it's it's a big it's a big episode for Hero. Like, it's big on that. Um, I know that from the opening. Ando's probably gonna meet Inuyashiki. Mm-hmm. And Hero he's gonna tell probably him. gonna find the girl that he's been looking for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Oh we got I... a Misa Misa? Mi- yeah, a Misa light kind of combination right there. Uh, oh god. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> well and I think I think the last thing that really happened to that episode is the the healing power mm-hmm. that Inuyashiki discovers. So like you see Inuyashiki learning to use his the good parts of his ability, and you see, it, you know, in the transition to uh, Hero using it for all, like the bad reasons. 
So I, I think this episode was actually really done like really well in that sense. Like, it was it was a great just foil. Just, you know, he's using it to do this, he's using it to do this. Completely different. Exactly. <clears throat> the two characters really they have to meet again. I'm excited to when they finally meet again, how they're gonna interact and how they're actually gonna, you know, actually settle their quarrel. Because yeah, yeah. there has to be some interaction, there has to be some speaking, some idea ch exchanges that happen during that entire sequence. Otherwise, I feel like they're really gonna squander something really good. Yeah, my whole thing is that like they're both like the same kind of robot, so maybe they're like they're able to tune into each other somehow, you know, or something. I don't know, or like figure out where the other is or something. I don't know. We'll see, but. Uh... Yeah, no, so f for most of the episode, it was an ama amazing series. If you want to see... Oh, yeah, one last thing. They're both so. very, they're both similar in the sense that they're both robots, but they're also outcasts. Yes, they're both outcasts in their own way. You know, Yoshiki's an outcast because an old man, not loved, not respected by anyone, while Hiro's an outcast because he doesn't like anybody. <laughs> um, and he cho it's more so like Hiro chooses to be... Maybe I think Hiro even chooses to be an outcast. Well, Inuyashiki just became one because society made him one. Mm -hmm. um, but if you guys want to see how we felt about episode 4, check out our live react that we uploaded on Friday. And that's about all I have to say for the first three episodes. It's overall, fantastic. I didn't mind the CG uh, when they did it. It was fine. I thought it was appropriate. But yeah, what about you, Nestor? Get over the CG. It'll be worth your time. Mm-hmm. Definitely, dope definitely. opening, dope oh music, dope ending dope and ending. opening. Oh my god! The guys who did Log Horizon did this opening. So if you're about that hype music, go for it. Oh man! Uh, Overall, that's... worth your time. Pick it up. We'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully, they don't squander something great. But it seems like, especially what happened with Episode Four, I don't think they're gonna lose any sort of traction with that. Episode Four was crazy. Go check out Live React card. Um, <laughs> Enough with the cards. Otherwise, yeah. uh, write down in the comment section below what you guys also think. If you guys agree with our opinions, if you disagree, make sure to let us know. Like it if you enjoyed this video. Description below to follow us on our social media. Subscribe to see more content from us. Otherwise, this has been Anastar. Uh, this has been uh, Deca. And Sayonara. And Sayonara.